My center of operations. My and you have brushed up on your Italian? Si. Good. The stakeout will take place at midnight tonight. You and the GBIF agents will allow Nico to enter the Palazzo Opello, then capture him when he tries to get away with whatever he has stolen. And so, I ask you, Nancy, are you sure you are ready to go on the stakeout? I am ready. Then good luck. We will talk again after Nico is captured. Nancy, the four of us agents will be hiding in the courtyard waiting for Nico. We will call over the radio to tell you where we are and pick out from time to time. If you see Nico, let us know where he is and we will try to catch him. But don't give away our hiding places. He's behind the tree. Fermati. Non riesco a trovarlo. Vicino alle gondole. Dietro l'ombrello blu. Dietro la statua. Dietro l'ombrello rosso. He's to the left of the white flowers. Fermati. Vicino alle gondole. Dietro la statua. Dietro la parete. Dietro la fontana. Dietro l'ombrello blu. Alla destra dei fiori rossi. Vicino alle gondole. He's behind the tree. Fermati! Non è là. Dietro la parete. Dietro il gatto. Alla sinistra dei fiori bianchi. Dietro la statua. Dietro la parete. Dietro l'automobile. Alla destra dei fiori rossi. Dietro il gatto. He's behind the tree. Fermati! Non è là. Dietro la fontana. Dietro l'albero. Dietro l'ombrello blu. Dietro la parete. Alla sinistra dei fiori bianchi. 
dietro all'altro. Dietro l'ombrello blu. Alla destra dei fiori rossi. He's behind the tree. Sono io. Dietro l'ombrello rosso. Dietro il gatto. Dietro l'ombrello blu. Alla sinistra dei fiori bianchi. Dietro la parete. He's behind the blue umbrella. Sono io. He's behind the fountain. Nico hasn't admitted anything? He does not admit that he is the phantom. He does not even admit that he is Nico Petit. The police and the GDIF have been questioning him all night but have gotten nowhere. So we still don't know who Il Dottore is. And we do not know where any of the stolen artwork is. This is not good, Nancy. Now that Nico has been arrested, the theft ring may break up and we may never recover the stolen goods. Prudence is not going to like that. Was he carrying anything that might help us? A wallet? An address book? I am looking at the arrest report. Among the items that were taken from him were a silver trumpet that he had just stolen from the Palazzo Opello, some coins, some matches, a used tissue, a receipt for Papano, I should say propane gas. On the back of this receipt were some numbers, 3447. Well, guess I'll just have to keep snooping around. Let me know if I can help. Ciao. Did you hear? The police have captured the phantom. It's a man named Nico Putti. Apparently, he has a long criminal record. So much for the phantoms being a woman. Yes, that is rather disappointing. However, I heard the police captured this Putti fellow with the help of an undercover detective recruited by the GDF. I got the impression that there was something highly unusual about this detective, but I couldn't get anyone to tell me what. Wow, pretty intriguing. Of course, the important thing is the Phantom won't be stealing anything from anyone anymore. I may even get my locket back. Now there's a happy thought. I should get going. Tschüss! Hello, Nancy. Will you be dressing up in a costume for Carnavale? Altro che! I have fallen in love with Commedia dell'arte, so this year I will dress up as my favorite character. The big-nosed, nasty Pulcinella. He and I are so opposite, no one will ever guess it is me. I'll let you get back to your sunbathing. Bella roba. <laughs> La mia lavatrice si è rotta, Vania, posso usare la tua? Grazie. No, devi chiedere a mio marito. Uffa, se... Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice warm welcome for our newest dancer, all the way from Aix-en-Provence, France. Punchy LaRue!
The Re di Damari is code for the Palazzo Orpello. And that's one of the cards that's missing from Fongo's office. I'll bet that's the next place they're going to hit, the Palazzo Orpello.
Welcome to the automated directory for Sony Trico. For personnel, press 1. For store locations, press 2. For communications, press 3. At any time, you may press 0 to return to the previous menu. For Signore Dottori President, press 1. For Signore Capitano Communications, press 2. Signore Dottori is the president of Sony Trico and is currently not receiving any messages. For Signore Dottori President, press 1. For Signore Capitano, welcome to the automated directory for Sony Trico. For personnel, pr for Signore Dottori President, press 1. For Signore Capitano Communications, Signore Capitano is responsible for receiving and distributing all incoming and outgoing communications. For Signore Dottori President, press 1. For Signore Capitano Communications, Signore Alecchino keeps our goods and services safe and secure. For Signore Dottori President, press 1. For Signore Capitano Communications, press 2. For Signore Alecchino Shipping and Receiving, press 3. For Signore Scaramuccia Security, Signore Scaramuccia is responsible for providing information on security systems. For Signore Dottori President, press 1. Signore Bergella acquires goods for resale. For Signore Di Welcome to the automated direct for our headquarters, press 1. Our headquarters are located in the Argonne office building in the Capo di Frari. For our headquarters, press 1. Our safe and secure store is located near the fountain in the Campo Santa Maria Formosa. I bet that's a safe room where they're keeping the stolen goods. For our headquarters, press 1. Our acquisition partners are the Aces, the Knights, and the Kings. For further information, please consult our detailed list available from our Director of Communications or at for our headquarters, press 1. Our sumptuous presidential suites are located in the historic Canas Costa. For our headquarters, press 1. Our propane storage facilities can be found in the Campo Santa Margarita. For our headquarters, press 1. We have many temporary meeting spaces available. Please consult your complimentary company calendar for locations available by date. For our headquarters, press 1. For our safe and secure, we have many temporary meetings. For our head, welcome to the automated directory for Sony Trico. For presidential communications, press 1. All presidential communications should be delivered with a box of chocolates to delight the Dottori. For presidential communications, acquisitions meet daily at the temporary meeting spaces. A card indicating our acquisition partner for that day will be delivered there. For presidential communications, press All security communications are initiated with a lovely game of chess. Scaramuccia will determine the location of any follow-up communications. For presidential communications, press 1. For acquisi acquisitions, will deliver all goods to our propane storage facility. Our director of shipping and receiving will then distribute to our safe and secure store for eventual distribution to our home office. For presidential communications, press 1. Acquisitions will deliver all goods to our propane storage facility. Our director of shipping and receiving will then distribute to our safe and secure store for eventual distribution to our home office.
realtà era cinema, Vania? No, assolutamente no. È un bel film. Eh, ma non lo so, cioè, non voglio. Non hai tempo? No. Devi studiare? No, devo studiare. Sì, sì. Va bene, alla prossima, ciao. Ciao. What's going on? I'll leave you to your writing. Tschüss! Hello, Nancy. I'll talk to you later. Good, good. Grazie. Can't buy that. No money. I bet this is a safe and secure store that was mentioned on that fax machine.
Julian. Where have I seen that name before? The address on this crate is the same address that was on that letter Helena dropped. Let me out of here! Hey! Open the door! Nancy, I was starting to be worried about you. It's Helena. Helena Berg. She's Il Dottore. You are sure? Yes, and I think she knows she's been busted. So you have to activate the tracking device I planted on her and find her before she escapes. I will activate her device immediately. But because of Carnevale, there are no officers available to follow her. You will have to do this, Nancy. You want me to track her? After I have activated the tracking device, your PDA will show a picture of what method of transportation she has taken, whether she's traveling on foot, in a gondola, or by Vaporetto. From time to time, it will also announce where she is. Why can't it announce where she is all the time? The transmission of a continuous signal would make the device too easy to detect. So please, Nancy, watch your PDA. It will tell you Helena's method of transportation and her last location. Use this information to figure out where she is headed so you can go to that place and intercept her. But you must move quickly or she will get away. I will send someone to help you as soon as possible. Okay. This prudence, Rutherford. I did not like that she forced you on us. But when you are on a case, you are like a dog with a bone. I like that, Nancy Drew. There. Helena's tracking device is activated. She is all yours. Hurry! San Giorgio. In Vaporetto. In Vaporetto. A piedi. A piedi. Gotcha! Helena! Don't try to hide from me, Helena. Nancy? What are you doing here? Getting my locket back. What are you? A cop? A government agent? A thief? What? What do you want? I'm just an amateur detective who wants what all decent people want. Justice. I had a feeling you were up to something. Your sudden arrival at Nascosta. Your feigned interest in Venice always asking questions. You've been watching Fango from the Altena all this time, haven't you? And now the little spy wants her locket back. Well, good. Because you're not getting it back. Ever. Ora! Ora! Helena, stop! She's getting away! <laughs> Don't be too pleased with yourself, Nancy Drew. It's not over between us. Not by a long shot. <laughs> True to her word, Helena didn't go quietly. After she was arrested, she insisted that because of me, a silly American teenager, a terrible mistake had been made. She claimed that not only was she innocent, but the locket around her neck was hers. 
But after I showed the authorities everything I discovered, it became clear that all the thefts attributed to the Phantom of Venice were actually perpetrated by a gang, her gang. It started with Hildegard Killian, a wealthy pork belly heiress in Chicago, who gave Helena a list of the Venetian art objects for which she would happily pay a small fortune should Helena somehow obtain them for her. Inspired by what she had learned while covering the trial of criminal mastermind Leo Macchiano, Helena subtly pumped her sources in the police department for the names of known or suspected criminals who could serve her purposes, which enabled her to put together her very own theft ring made up of Antonio Fango, codename El Capitano. Using everything from trained pigeons to chess notations to chocolates, he made sure everyone in the ring knew what they needed to know by the time they needed to know it. Gina Scaramuccia, a civil engineer familiar with practically every security system in existence, she determined the best way to steal an item and, via Il Capitano, passed this information along to Nico Petit, Brigella, who did the actual stealing. It was his idea to wear the mask and cape while pulling the heists, something of which Helena, Il Dottore, did not approve. He delivered what he stole to Enrico Tazza, Alakino. He hid the items in paper mache carnival costume heads and stashed them away until they could be shipped to Hildegard Killian. But thanks to Sophia and me, they're all on their way to prison. Prudence Rutherford was so delighted that all the stolen objects were recovered undamaged that she's decided to include me in her memoirs, which I guess I'm supposed to consider a great honor. Margarita is delighted too. Everyone thinks that because I was staying at Ca Nascosta, she was somehow instrumental in solving the case. She's suddenly the darling of Venetian high society, which for her is a dream come true. As for Colin, he called me once out of the blue. He had read about the Phantom's capture and had just one question. Did I get my locket back? When I said I had and was wearing it, there was a long silence, then he just hung up. For a while I felt bad. Then I remembered all those slides. Castle Malloy has stood empty for almost a century in a remote corner of Ireland. The few who have dared to walk among its crumbling walls have told tales of devious fairies, ghostly lights, and a cursed spirit haunting the ruins. When an old friend of mine insists on holding her wedding there, things quickly go from merry to menacing, and I soon find myself probing the darkest corners of the castle, struggling to unearth its secrets. Secrets which may have already cost the groom his life. Join me as I make my way through this long-forgotten fortress in... The Haunting of Castle Malloy.